so get up at 5 30 if you're in lockdown this is not an excuse for you to stay in lockdown and lock down on achieving your goals you know you need to lock in what's going on people today we're back with another episode before we start how is your day has it been this Monday, Monday night at this point now and it's been a long ass day it's been a long ass day and I already could tell the week is going to be filled with productivity and adventure and I am declaring and speaking into existence for you and I um how's your day comment down below also if you're new to the channel like and subscribe also I come out with videos mostly on a at least four times a week basis so there'll be tons of content so once more, comment down below where you're from. Um, if you're in lockdown currently, I know quarantine is still very uh, prominent in some places. Thankfully, it is not too bad right here with lockdown. But um, yeah, like I said, comment down below and let's chop it up. Today, we're going to be discussing why you should get up every single morning at 5.30 and have a set objective from the time you wake up to the time you go to sleep. Do you schedule? That's, that's what I'm asking. Like, do you schedule? Um, have you been lacking it? Do you not know how to set up a schedule? Do you not know how to organize your day so that it runs smoothly and you feel like you get the most out of each and every day? Um, where is it that your hindrance comes from? So when I first began to do more scheduling and organization within my day-to-day -day basis, it made quarantine not feel like quarantine. And before quarantine, I still had a schedule that was set in stone, but during quarantine it was the same thing every day wake up meditate pray um sign in to my computer work out um eat lunch after i break my fast um eat lunch go back to work take a nap come downstairs make videos go run um meditate stretch repeat so i had like a set thing and it was a consistent 365 day schedule but as I'm doing so much and I'm accomplishing a lot of things and progressing in different areas and improving my overall life, um, what I learned is that I myself needed to be more, I need to be more efficient with my time. You know, I can do all these things and it's cool. I can do it every single day, but am I actually growing, you know, because it's cool to progress in your physical um, attributes, but what about your mental? What about your spiritual and your financial? Are all those elevating as well? So I started thinking and I actually switched my routine from getting up at um, around 7.30, which I used to do during quarantine, to the past three months, I think at this point now, getting up at 5 a.m. So the reason why I think you should get up at 5 a.m. too is just to set discipline every single day getting up before. If you live alone, of course, be yourself. But in my case, I live with other people in my house. So when I get up and everybody is sleeping, it is pitch white. It gives me a sense of accomplishment, a, a confidence boost. And it lets me know that I need to be the one getting the chicken. The early bird gets the worm, so I want to be early enough to catch that meal. You know what I'm saying? In retrospect. So with getting up early, it will actually, um, of course, because the discipline, they also will give you a sense of energy where I get up early. And by the time it is, mm, I say seven o'clock, I feel so primal and wide awake. And I think that might be because cortisol, which, which, which usually rushes through your body, which is the stress hormone. But... You know, people say when you're stressed, you can't sleep. It's one of those type of things. So as I adapted to cortisol, I feel like I've been able to maintain and control it. So I actually use that that stress feel, you know what I'm saying, to get up, get my day going, and get active instantly. So 5 a.m. I get up. By 5.30 to 6, I am at the gym, and I begin my workout. And as I've talked about numerous times, it is push-pull legs. That is the um, routine cycles I usually do just because... It's more well rounded and I like working out every day with being that 534 days consecutively working out. So that's my lifestyle that I really enjoy. So get up at 530. If you're in lockdown, this is not an excuse for you to stay in lockdown and lock down on achieving your goals. You know, you need to lock in. So what is it that you might be trying to accomplish right now? Like what, what are your goals? Comment down below. Um, what exactly are the things that you have endeavors for? Like what is that you want to do? You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like everybody has a place they want to go to, but they don't know where to go. So where do you want to go? What is the end destination and the vision you see for your life? You know what I'm saying? Let's chop it up. Let's let's figure out a plan of how we can implement um, reverse engineering. If you want to get from here to there, to get here, what do you have to do? If I want to be a doctor, for say, I would say to be a doctor, I have to go 
to um, do my studies bachelor. From bachelor, I have to go to get my um, my doctorate. From doctorate, you know, um, clinical hours. So I would say, all right, so I have to do clinical hours. I have to get my doctorate. I get my studies. And then I can get to um, the being in the stage where I'm currently. So you reverse engineer from, if I want this, I have to do this. That is how you have to see your things. Because if you are here and you don't know how to get there, it's a lot harder to say, all right, well, to get to the end goal, I have to first get, um, find a school I want to go to. Then I have to go for my master's and my doctorate. Then I have to go for, you know what I'm saying? You have more of a set in stone because each level gets closer and closer. It's harder and harder, but you could reverse engineer that to make it easier and, and once more retrospect. So that, that's kind of how you have to see those things. But, um, I guess the next thing we'll be talking about is what do you guys do? You know what I'm saying? What are, what are some hobbies? I, I want to get more of a basis on who my audience is. Um, what type of hobbies, what type of things that you guys do? Uh, you know, of course, I do seam retention. I'm really big into fitness. I know some real helpful things that I actually give you guys to benefit, you know, just you on your journey. But sometimes when you know so much, it's hard to um, just bring out random facts. You know, I, I don't really know where it is that I should guide with this channel, but if you were to come down below, I could take that knowledge and actually direct it right back to what you want to know and answer those questions. So let me know. Add me on IG, I paint their wisdom and I paint their mentality and um, stay great. Once more, comment down below what it is that you need any guidance on. And once more, if you have stuck through, like, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend, tell a friend and share this video. With that being said, stay great. Peace.